Okay, so when a customer is upgrading to a higher load rated tire, maybe going from a B rated tire, light truck tire, um, to an E rated tire, the PSI that's required for the tire is gonna be much higher. And if you set his PSI, let's say it's originally set to about 35 PSI um, with the tire that came equipped on that vehicle, and you turn the pressure up on the new tires to 80 PSI, well, the TPMS light will be illuminated. So what you wanna do there is actually change the actual max load pressure. And I'm gonna walk you guys through how to do that today. Okay, so on my vehicle, I've actually upgraded from a light load truck tire to an extra load truck tire. Okay, and I'm gonna walk you through how to change the maximum load pressure on this vehicle. So the function's actually gonna be located within the body control module. And you're gonna find it under special functions. If you scroll all the way to the bottom on this specific vehicle, you'll see tire type pressure selection. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. Here it kind of explains the different types of truck tires. In my scenario, I've gone from the standard load or the light load um, all the way up to the extra load. Which is number two there. And the extra load is printed on the sidewall. So I'm gonna go and hit okay. Okay, and you'll see that the Front tire pressure um, is currently set to 240. I need to update that to 280. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna select it. And I'm gonna set this to 280. And then I'm gonna hit okay. Confirm it, hit okay. Okay, that's been completed. Now when I hit continue, I should go to my rear and it's done that. So now my rear tire pressure, um, I'm gonna go ahead and select it and then I'm gonna hit continue and now I'm gonna enter in 280. And then I'm gonna hit okay, confirm it. Now procedure's complete. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. Con or sorry, continue. Procedure complete, hit okay. And that's pretty much it. So now when I fill up my tire pressure beyond the 35, I won't have a light on um, showing me that I'm you know, above the spec or way too high for the truck tire that I have equipped. All right, so now that we've completed the new tire pressure settings, we're gonna go back into the body control module and change it from a standard load tire to an extra load tire. So there's a single rear wheel, is equipped with the trailer iron control module. I'm gonna go into special functions, tire type, pressure selection. We've already been through this part of it here. I'm gonna hit okay. All right, so it says standard loads. So we're gonna change that. We're gonna change it to an extra load tire. P metric, extra load right there. All right, so that's done. You can see the 280 is already set there from our previous session. So I'm gonna hit continue. I'm gonna do the same for the rear. Extra load, hit okay. Hit continue. Procedure complete. There's your guys' quick tip. Quick and easy, thank you.